YouTube, Moose 78 back at you with some more American Truck Simulator. This, of course, is my Let's Play series, Stories of the Road. We are episode number 22 today. Hope you're all about a fantastic day, by the way. We are going to grab this reefer, going back to a refrigerated trailer. We're going to run this thing up to Elko, Nevada. Once we get all hooked up, we'll take a look at all the official details. See if we can't get her hooked up without looking outside. I think more than anything, that's what I miss about the 579. right on there. Well, shenanigans. Ah, just a skosh off. Just a skosh off. trailers with the uh, arrow skirts on them. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm a traditionalist. If that's even a thing. But, uh, yeah. I'd, but overall, I think that trailer looks pretty good with this truck, even with the skirts on it, so. Not too shabby. Take a look at all the details here. We are going to sell goods. This is a contracted run, so there probably will be about a 65 mile an hour speed limit, I'm gonna guess. Frozen fruits. 30,000 pounds. Going up to Elko. Take a look at our route here. Let's see. Oh, hey, hey, you stop. There we go. See, it's got us running up to 111, up to 10. Not sure, not sure, not sure. See if it'll Why is it not letting me No, I don't want to go back into Phoenix. Is that not a road I can go on or oh no, that's the state border. He he he. Te he he. Yeah, I guess that's not a too bad of a route then. The 111. Hop on 10 for just a minute. Then get up on 40 and 93. Should not be too bad of a run going all the way up to northern Nevada. One of my favorite parts of the map. Let's get out here and get after it. Yeah, like I was saying, that's one of the, probably the thing I miss most about the 579 is just being able to look out and easily, you know, back into stuff. there. They were a little bit getting away from me there a little bit.
same hill as that. Okay, I, 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 why? What is that? Is that a walking hot dog or? Okay. Sure, why not? Let's put a walking hot dog in the game. Rock on, White Snake. Put a guy walk around in a hot dog suit in the game, but we can't put a gear shift in the interior view of the trucks. Okay. Okay. Just crazy. I'd say we're doing pretty good on fuel, so we won't worry about stopping for a little bit. Hop out here on the interstate and start making our way north. Head over yonder, as some might say. Weird looking back there and seeing a uh, reefer trailer again. Been pulling a lot of tankers and flatbeds and some other stuff here lately. Just go, that'd be super swell. All right, first test of the day. up before it killed it. Otherwise, I would have been able to save that there. One of the few things I've gotten a little bit better at. At least I'm not rolling back down that hill right about now. Whereas a couple of weeks ago, yeah, I would have been uh, completely doing that. Throwing out a few colorful sentence enhancers along the way. Thing that happens this trip, I will be happy. Last episode, the AI got a little bit crazy on us. Had a flatbed merge onto the interstate and just pulled right out in front of a pickup truck, smashed that thing all to hell. And then I had a van 
as I'm passing Ed, just pulled right out in front of me like I wasn't there and I had no choice but to hit him because he did it right at the last second. Not paying attention to my speed. Get a ticket. So in this episode, if the worst two things that happen is me getting a speeding ticket and a little little snafu back there on the hill that no one got hurt at, I think it'll be a good trip. You know, looks like our speed is maxed out at 65. We'll set the cruise there. Actually, we're gonna back the cruise off because. speed limit is 55. What is going on up here? Can't tell if that's just the lights on the trailer or if those guys, the guy up front there is just riding on his brakes. Turn on the lights, say goodbye to my FPS. So I need to go back and edit it where the, the orange flares aren't putting out any kind of effect, where it's like uh, shining on the ground. Outside here. See how the orange lights are lighting up on the ground or on the cab? Need to go back and change it where it doesn't do that. Because that just destroys my FPS when the interior view. looks great. I love it, but I have no idea why, other than the game is just poorly optimized, that it just destroys my FPS like it does. And I'm running a 980 Ti Classified on an i7-4770K, and this game's not all that demanding, so I should just be tearing up the frames in this game, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't do it. Probably doesn't help that it's on DirectX 9, which is quite a bit dated. So rest area back there, but I want to get up the road just a little bit before I stop and take a break. Only one guy is turning, so we'll try to catch up with him and maybe convoy a little bit. At least I thought a guy turned back there. Could have swore I saw a guy turn back there. No, there's, I think the AI has just gotten like super wonky since the last update. I don't know. Any of you guys been having any issues with the AI? I've not been having any, well, a few major issues with them just kind of doing just crazy unpredictable stuff, which I hadn't seen a whole lot of until the last update, so I don't know. Speed limit still only 55. Am I in California? Yeah, I must be in California. Yeah, I'm in California. Scooting on up to Nevada, so. Do, do, do. So we'll set the cruise right about there.
can look at the mini-map and it's telling me to go two different ways. So I guess we're good. And that might have been because I changed the route or something, but... Looks like we do have an exit coming up, though. just going up here for some random reason. Whatsies. Which isn't too big of a deal, I mean, let's see. I really don't want to go to there. Click off of that. That's not too big of a deal. I guess we can stop in Ehrenberg and take our 10-hour break. That's not a huge deal. We can stop and get some fuel anyway. I'm going. Get off my arse. Take a gander at the truck. Of course, got the utility 3000R.
There we go. Rest it up. Daylight. We'll go ahead and get back on the road here. service this trip though too. that guy so we are good to go Expecting that car to pull out in front of me there. Get out here and get back on track and Elko. Still got a ways to go yet. We'll break this up into a few different episodes though, so. Back in California. Get our crew set. There at first thought that uh, Peterbilt was going to try to pass us.
one kind of heavy, one kind of hard. Two wound up here. Hop back on the interstate here. Those freaking ramps, if you're not pretty much to a dead stop by the time you hit that thing, you're just going to gain so much speed going down, and no matter what you have your brake sensitivity set to, you're just going to fly down that thing like a bat out of hell, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So now I'm stuck over here looking like a complete jackalope. Maybe I can get in if one of these cars will let me over. Probably not. And I understand that those are kind of steep, but they're not that freaking steep to where my brakes are going to be rendered absolutely freaking useless. one of the things that kind of frustrates me about the game.
speed limit's... No, no, it's up at 35, so it's not too bad. Now it's 55, now we're going to hit 75. That makes sense. guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of stories from the road thanks for tuning in and hanging out always appreciate the support guys if you like today's video just give it a like and a share it just helps me out a bunch helps the channel grow again we do this every tuesday and thursday then on wednesdays i just upload some plain old gameplay footage so be sure to check that stuff out if you're not already subscribed please consider doing so now but guys i'm gonna cut on out of here until the next one, take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.